Today we're pouring a new set of D&D dice and we're going to try to get near perfect dice without a vacuum chamber or a pressure pot. But this time we got a secret weapon, but before we do that, make sure you like and follow. <laughs> So let's get started. We got our mold, which we're going to use. This is the same mold we used the last time. And this one is just from a company called You Are Wizard. <laughs> I'm just going to put down our mat where when our resin overflows, as you can see, it overflows onto this mat. And this is pretty much the um, the mold we're going to use. Now we have our basic resin. This is just uh, Craft Smart resin from Michaels. Pretty common resin. We're going to use this. Not a very not a very fancy resin. And first we're going to pour this. We're going to measure it out. We're going to pour this, and then we're going to show you what we found actually helps create the. Um, bubble -less resin dice. So this time we're actually not just going to use the numbers on the cup or the ounces. We're actually going to weigh it. So we're going to put a cup on here. So it's about three ounces. We're just going to tear that. And now we're going to use an ounce and a half of our part A, maybe two ounces. We'll see what we get. And an ounce and a half of our part B. And there we go. Three ounces even. Now, we don't usually use stirring sticks. We usually just use old paintbrushes. So you can see in there, there's some bubbles, not a, not a crazy amount, but we're just gonna start stirring this. Slowly stirring for the next five minutes. Okay, we stir this, and now we're going to add our secret ingredients. Someone recommended this, and we did try this on another pour, not dice, but it worked really well. It's this T-Rex alcohol things. So we're going to take a little bit. We're going to take a few drops, and we're going to add it in there. And as you can see, it's already popping some of the bubbles that are on the surface, and we're just going to blend this in slowly. time I think we're going to use this garnet red. So we put about five drops. No pressure pot, no vacuum chamber. We're going to pour this. We do see some bubbles. They're definitely over poured a little bit. So put now we're going to put the top on it. Let's put something nice and heavy on it. We do have a little more resin, so we're just going to pour some extra of these Valentine's hearts. And there we go. We're done. So it's been about 20 hours. First, we're going to take out these hearts. And you can see there's barely any bubbles in them. We have a few, but there's barely any. So let's see how they turned out. This one has some bubbling out the top, but it looks pretty good. This one actually looks really good.
And this one looks pretty clean, too. Now, let's see if using this T-Rex alcohol ink actually worked to remove the bubbles. We see a lot of it got removed from the hearts. Let's see if we remove the bubbles for the dice. I took a lot of your comments, and I used those. I over-poured. I made sure it was filled. I poured as slow as I could. I stirred as, as slow as I could. Let's see. Now, obviously that's just spillage. It's dry already because I over poured. They actually look. Let's just remove this. They actually look pretty good so far. You can see the ones on all the faces. And let's take some out. Wow, I, I mean, there are some bubbles in there, but this six-sided overall looks solid. Look at that. We got some, some bubbling on the face, but I think we can clean that up. There are some bubbles inside, but it looks pretty clean. This actually really looks like it's working. I'm going to save the 20-sided for last. Let's do this uh, eight-sided. Wow, look at that. Not perfect, but looks pretty good. Barely any bubbles. Let's check out the four side. Another one. Look at that. Some bubbles in there, but it looks pretty clean. And the dice is solid. So when there's a little, let's get that off. Wow, look at the hundred. I mean, I got to clean that little extra part off, but overall that looks really, really clean. Okay. Let's look at our 12. Wow, that came out pretty clean. There's barely, there's bubbles in there, but they're, they're barely noticeable. Let's get rid of some of this excess resin. Ah, oh. okay. Oh, almost dropped it. So it looks like on this 10 sided. I don't know if you can see right there, but we had a little bit of failure. But other than that, it looks really, really clean. So I'm gonna put that face up so we can see that. Okay. And now for this one side, I can't believe this works so well, right? We didn't use a pressure pot, we didn't use a vacuum chamber. We just pretty much poured. Now, are they the greatest dice ever? Probably not. But here's the thing, without a pressure pot, without a vacuum chamber, there's some bubbles in here, but there are so few. Look at that 20. Look how clean that is. Overall, they look really, really good. I'm actually really happy with the way using this added ink worked, using this uh, what is it? It's the T-Rex alcohol inks, the clear. We're going to get these cleaned up. I am super happy with the way they came out so far. Remember, for other great DIY maker content and some D&D stuff, make sure you follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.